Mazes are one of the most fascinating things. Almost everybody, as soon as they can crawl, are always wanting to find out what's hidden, what's out of sight. My name's Adrian Fisher. I live in Dorset in England, and I create mazes and labyrinths all over the world. Well, I spent the first few years of my career in accountancy. There came a moment when I'd created a maze in my father's garden, and then I started building one and two more and so on. And then I suddenly realized this was going to be far more fulfilling if I spent my life creating mazes. This is the site of the place. This is 40 meters in diameter, and the maze is going here. Over the years, I've created mazes in some 40 countries, and I guess I've built over 700 full-size mazes in the landscape. I think a maze design is a very esoteric art. You sketch out ideas and develop ideas on paper and drawings. Well, one of the exciting things is a maze is a network. Now, a maze is a special kind of network where I decide there's only one start point, I decide where the finish is, and I make sure that every single bit of it can be as confusing or as easy as I wish. I'm trying to make it as ingenious and tricky as possible, but in the end, I'm also an entertainer. I like to leave clues that help you solve it, and you feel so good about yourselves when you have beaten the maze designer. Like a good movie, you get to the end and you still you don't want it to stop. I'm appealing to some basic instinct in us all that want to be entertained and explore. And a maze is an ideal way of doing that. Its purpose is totally at, to one side of normal, sensible, practical things in life, but gives so much pleasure to so many millions. <laughs>